But do not try this at home. So you can just hug it. Oh, I'm holding one for dear life. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we are. Oh, I have a what? The crap on your neck. Oh. Hi, I'm Leonard Young, and I'm a chef. Well, I wasn't always a chef. I studied engineering until my love for all things food completely took over my life. I live here in Singapore, one of the greenest cities in the world, a food haven, and a melting pot of so many different cuisines and cultures. I love it. I'm going to take you on a very special four-part journey across Singapore. Welcome to the Sustainable Foodie. Today we are heading somewhere a little bit off the radar. I hope you like seafood. Welcome to Ahua Kelong, one of over 100 traditional fish farms which you can see floating around the coastline of Singapore, or in local terms, a Kelong. Today's view is a bit more rustic and doesn't quite feel like I'm in Singapore, right? But yes, this is very much Singapore. My name is uh, Wong Jing Kai and I run Ahua Kelong and scaled by Ahua Kelong. And I am allergic to crustacean. Given that you have crustacean allergy, right? Like, how do you even get into this fish farm business? Back then, when I managed to meet Ahua by chance, mm -hmm. and then just talked about why are there so many gaps between local seafood and locals, then we wanted to bridge that gap. I see. So then, why not we just um, try that out and see where it goes? Kopi kopi. Thanks, man. Hey, so Zinkai, when I speak to a lot of the chefs in Singapore, when they think about Ahua Kelong, you know, the seafood is super fresh. And everything that you catch, you want to send it over to your customers within today. So if you notice, uh, on our farm, there's no chillers around. There's only freezers. The freezers are meant to store our ice that we make ourselves. Everything that we produce here are out on the same day. So the tagline here is that harvest by sunrise, deliver by sunset. So you know, we are on your fish farm now, which means that we are growing local. And I guess you also want to inspire Singaporeans to eat local. It's not just about food security and not just about like, you know, because we are Singaporeans, we just about Singaporeans. That's not just about that. It's just that when we have our own products or production place or even like a, a farm offshore or even on land, the vegetable farms, mm. why are we not going to a source near to us in terms of like freshness, quality? But why are we moving outwards? Yeah. So we're trying to build that up and hopefully the next generation can take a little bit more pride in what we have and can be found on our own shores. So I noticed that you know you have some nets catching stuff that's wild on the, mm. out, on the outskirts of your farm. So I just want to ask, over the last few years, do you notice that there's a change in the quality or the quantity of the wild-caught seafood? Even nine years ago, before I came in, everybody was saying how much it has changed. When we catch from outskirts, right, we'll try to release the crabs back here. So let's say if we do get a couple of, say, females with whatever colour it may be, that signifies different stages of their yeah. pregnancy, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. So we will put that back into um, the ocean and hopefully they will start to spawn from there. So that's the idea that we're trying to push out. With the older generations, the change is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take like a bit of time for us to implement. Yeah, and I guess yeah. it takes a young, younger perspective like yours to kind of educate that, you know, over-catching is also bad for the environment, for the ecosystem. We do see it like very significantly, but a lot of people, it's not a concern. Mm. It's never about like keeping it for maybe the next generation yeah. or hoping that uh, it will be able to sustain itself. I saw like solar panels on your roof as well. So yeah. is this farm sort of like self-sustaining? Yeah, so we don't need the generators uh, anymore as of now. We did the first round of uh, solar panels and then now we're fully powered. It can rain for like the whole week, we still have enough power to run. You know, I heard that a lot of like restaurants and suppliers were quite badly affected during the pandemic. Like, how did you guys fare? Same as everybody else, we got hit real bad, real quick. Skill had to pivot to delivery, which we've never done before. So how did we manage to do that to survive this whole period? I was just looking online, a post on like a, a bridging loan that came from DBS. So then it was super easy. I just clicked everything in. Next thing you know, somebody reverted and I got it. So that really, really tied us through quite a fair bit in the initial phases yeah. of just getting through, getting that cash flow to just run the business. You know how manpower is like, like really bad nowadays mm -hmm. and I really need quite a bit of help with harvesting mussels. Would you be keen to do that? Yeah, I guess as long as I don't get wet. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Won't get wet, won't get wet, 100%. Yep. Oh. Holding on for dear life. <laughs> So hard to move. You push that. Oh no, it's not the photo, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you feel here, so what we do is we move our hands along. Oh, this is a workout, man. The effort is like tremendous. 
it's, it's to the point that the uncles, right, you go and touch their hands now, it's all rough already. They won't get cut that easily. It's anymore. like chefs, they can't feel heat anymore. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Woo! That's a good one. Yeah, this is hard work, man. Yeah. Seeing and experiencing ethical farming happening right here in Singapore waters has been an eye opening experience. Even with rapid urbanization, young entrepreneurs like Ting Kai are continuing these precious traditions to not only give us the freshest seafood, but also to help reduce our carbon footprint from imported food. It's something that's becoming more and more important to conscious consumers. All that being said, I have my life muscles. I think it's time to go to scale. Opened in 2018, this is the first fish farmer owned restaurant to serve locally farmed seafood in Singapore. I'm Ron, the head chef at Scale. This is my life. I guess I'll be putting on the apron, donning the uniform. The travellers or the diners that come here to eat, what are they really here for? From the beginning, our concept has been from, as you say, farm to table. We do try and showcase the fish that we get in, in a way that is a bit more interesting, maybe not tied to any one single cuisine. Mm -hmm. Also, first two years when Scale started was a bit of a tough side. So because it was so niche, we had to explain to people what we were trying to do, what's so different about us. So fast forward to now, I think people understand it a little bit better. So we pride ourselves as being a restaurant that has our own farm, cooks our own food in a style that we call our own. Chef, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually harvested some of the mussels from Ahua Kelong. Can we make a dish with the mussels? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll just go through the curry mussels for today then. Curry mussels, yeah. sounds amazing. I have to say, you know that there are fish farms in Singapore, but I don't think about them. And I never gave a thought to what's being produced on them mm. until I joined up with Kai for this venture. Mm. And the first time I tried the mussels, I was actually quite blown away. Wow, look at the size of that. It beats New Zealand mussels hands down. Wow. There's no fight at all. I'm actually quite proud that these are from Singapore. Chef, does this look okay to you? Perfect. Restaurant standard? Yep. Oh man, I can't wait to try this. We talk about being mindful about what we eat and where it comes from. All of that starts with places like this at scale and at Ahua Kelong where local produce is the star of the dish. The passion here is on a whole other level. Rain or shine, the chefs and the fishermen work so hard to give you the freshest seafood every day. So don't take your produce for granted. Come down and try a delicious seafood meal at scale. And it's bill time! I thought I harvested the mussels. Uh, the fish got to be paid for as well. There's like pasta and all that. Okay. 